Now from the windy city of Chicago, there's a beautiful look at fabled Wrigley Field. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Masahiro Tanaka will be on the mound for the series opener. EK, what do you got? Well, Matty, he's got close to 200 innings this year. He's been very dependable, thrown deep into a lot of ball games. He's looking to do the same in this one. Mookie Betts heads for the batter's box, and we are just about ready for some evening baseball. Underway now tonight as the first pitch is looked at for strike one as we'll get this going a little late at 7.06 tonight. EK, as we look at the Cubs entering play here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. And it's been a little bit of a rocky start to the homestand. Just one win to show for their first four games. I think it starts with the pitching. They've got to get a good performance out of this starter if they want to turn around their fortune. Well, hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. First batter of the game, he's all over this pitch and lines it to center field for a leadoff single to get things started. Charlie Blackman will stand in as you take a look at that first column on the left. He's closing in now on that batting title. Well, he swung the bat so well all season long, so we'll see how it all plays out at the end. Maybe he wins that batting title. And this is taken outside for ball one. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really bury your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. Tanaka pauses. Here it is on 1-0. Hey. Oh. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike and it's all knotted up at 1-1. One one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will no, hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. And he just manages to get his hand in. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Escobar on to first, and they get the double play. A moment here to take a look at the Cincinnati Reds starting lineup in this one. Who are you focused on, E.K.? Well, you better look out for the Norrisaurus Rex, <laughs> Derek Norris. He sports a batting average with runners in scoring position over 300, so you could say he relishes in those big moments. We'll see if that's the case in this one. Edwin Encarnacion will come on now, and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. That smoked, but right into the shift. Throw in time, and the side is retired. None left for Cincinnati. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Sonny Gray, a right-hander out of Tennessee, will be the starting pitcher. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, you can see right there, he's getting close to that 200 strikeout number. Throwing the ball extremely well, missing a lot of bats this season. Devin Travis is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And Eric, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Yeah, and they were home for just a short time before heading right back out on the road again. So there's been a lot of packing and unpacking recently. That's the life of a big league ball player. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. Steve, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? I, I, these guys need to swing for the fences. They're not an average team. They're one of the worst in the league in average, so they're not going to win games unless they hit the ball out of the ballpark. They're going to have to do that in this game. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard up the middle. 
A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Yeah, a one-out base runner here in the bottom of the first. Now you've got the three, four, five guys coming up. Let's see if they can turn this into the first run of the ball game. Travis Shaw is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Oh, and it's Taylor made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Corey Dickerson will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. Corey Dickerson. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Ligares, but he won't get there. It falls in. The relay, and he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. And with that, let's take a look at the Cubs' alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, we're going to have a real treat in this ballgame. We get to watch a shortstop that won the gold glove last year. Unbelievable range and an absolute cannon for an arm. Can't wait to watch him make some great plays in this one. Tanaka's ready. Here's the 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. And two quick outs here in the second. Well, I think this is a slider down in the zone, running away. And that's a very difficult pitch to drive with any authority unless you're a guy like Matt Kemp. And this becomes a harmless fly out to right field. Nick Castellanos will stand in one for four with a double in yesterday's ball game. Well, Matty just continues this string of his last 10 games where he's hitting over 300. He has those really, really nice games mixed in there. Here's a curveball that runs outside. It's ball one. That's a pitch that you got to stay on top of or else it'll take off on you just like that one did. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Broussard is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Reds are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Hanley Ramirez steps in looking to get it going offensively. Things have not been going his way of late. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. And, and he's probably not going to throw too many first-pitch change-ups. That's a pretty darn good call. Line to the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. A pretty good swing there. You'll watch it. Head stays Whoa. down, ball Whoa. gets deep in the zone, and he lets those hands lead the way, and he drives it to right field. That's as good an approach as you're going to see. Juan Ligares is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. That big 12-6 curveball will work like that. He'll start it out up in the zone and then lets it drop right down to the knees. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, Matt, with Ross behind the plate, hitters know they need to expand the strike zone a little bit. 
He likes to ring it up when it's on the black, or even a little off of it. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at the defense for the Cincinnati Reds. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, we get to watch Derek Norris behind the plate. Very athletic, versatile, doesn't let anything get by him. And also, pretty darn good offensively. Any team would love to have him. A one pitch on its way. Nope, and he misses ball. with it one and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. You don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, so much for being thrown out of rhythm by that leadoff single. Doesn't seven. seem to have affected him My one shortstop. bit. Come back with the two straight strikeouts, Escobar. and now he's turned things around in this inning. Alcides Escobar will stand in, and as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against the southpaws than he does against right-handers. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Betts has it in his tracks. And that's the third out. One left for the Cubs. We'll move to the third with no score. Derek Norris. Leads it off here. Bottom third of the order is set to go here in the third. Well, he's faced the minimum so far, and obviously it's still early, but they need to get something going because you can't let this guy settle in out there. Tanaka into his motion. Here's the first pitch. Splitter here, and it's taken for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. A reminder that Reds baseball continues all season long here on the show, and there you get a look at what's coming up over the course of the next seven days. Cliff Pennington. We'll get his first shot here, and you can see he's got that average up near the 330 mark to begin play. And that is huge for him, too. This is a contract year for him, so he'd love to take those great numbers straight to the negotiating table. Hit hard to short. Escobar fields it cleanly. On to first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two-up, two-down start to the third. Gene Segura. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. and all. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. In the air, out to right. Moving under it, Broussard. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Reds. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Johnny Monell digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Catcher, Johnny Monell. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. Oh, 
hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw on to first by Pennington, and there's one gone. Batting ninth. Third baseman, Jordan Pacheco. Into the box, Jordan Pacheco. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. On the ground, up the middle, backhanded. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Devin Travis comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Well, this is kind of a tough trade-off here in that leadoff spot. For the most part, he's been a pretty productive hitter at the top of the lineup, but the strikeouts just keep mounting up. And I don't care if you have leadoff type speed, if you're not putting the ball in play, you're not getting on base. Jackie Bradley Jr. is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Set to deliver the 0-1. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0-2. And, and he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Cubs strand one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Mookie Betts is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Of the you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an Mookie inning for you. He makes Betts. good contact, and he can run. Hey. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Anytime you can throw a first pitch strike to about 60% of the batters you've faced, or better than that, then you should get pretty good results. And we're in the middle innings in this game, so that's pretty good. Hard liner toward short, but this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out. Up next for Cincinnati. And that's one of those plays Lafayette. where you might need to reinforce Charlie the laces Lafayette. on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean, hammered out there. But he's going to wind up with nothing to show for it. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The Boy, and he's first come out with a plan against Edwin these hitters, and he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's set down. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever.
Got a fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Tanaka sets his sights, ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. So a two-out single there and gets him a base runner, and that leads us to check out the team leaders in hitting here in the final month of the season. Yeah, and there you see where they rank in that stat category. When one through nine in your lineup can pretty much all hit for average, Gonna have a chance to win a bunch of games. Corey Dickerson, the hitter now. He was gunned down at second, attempting to stretch a single his first time up. You know what? I'm not sure if that was on him or the first base coach, but it obviously didn't work out. It took a good throw to get him, though. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball one and oh. But now you gotta regroup after the two-out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so the inning's not over yet, not by a long shot. The one and0 delivery grounded back up the middle throw on to second for the force and the side is retired so no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on to the bottom of inning number four we go and we Travis Shaw is set to lead us Leading off in the Chicago home board. half of the fourth inning well they still don't have any runs on the board yet but getting this leadoff man on base would be huge. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. One and one count. Here's the pitch. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Still 2 and 2. Two and two count. Here it comes. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, 3 and 2. Oh, I think you'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. And these two teams right back at it tomorrow night. We'll have coverage of game two of the series in high definition on the show as you get a look there at the two starters scheduled to oppose one another. Hanley Ramirez is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Ah. 
nip the corner. Two and two. You go back to the curveball here? I'd stay away. I'd go curveball or even slider, but I got to get it out over the plate. My job as a pitcher, expand the zone. Make the hitter swing at pitches that are off the plate. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Now a swing and a miss by Ramirez as he's dispatched back to the dugout, out number two. And remember now, he finished off the previous inning with back-to-back -back strikeouts. And now he started this inning with two more. So he's really got it working out there now. Here's Juan Ligares. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. This guy has been amazing. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 80% of the batters he faced. And we're in the middle innings now, so you know he's doing well. Oh, no he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Not only is he close to going through the heart of this lineup, he may even strike out the side. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Nope. Boy, tough oh. to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Albert Pujols heads for the box to Leading start off the, the fifth in this one. And this is a guy that can make a big Albert change in this game Pujols. with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. Tanaka gets the sign. First pitch on the way. 92 splits the plate and it's strike one. All right, four scoreless innings in the books. What's it going to take to push across our first run? Well, I think both pitchers have really dominated so far. This is where getting the leadoff guy on is so key. You know, get the pitcher into the stretch, get him out of his comfort zone. Then maybe your offense can go from there. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Pujols is retired, and there's one away. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Settling in now, Nick Castellanos. He flew out in his last at-bat. Slapped hard the opposite way. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Well, starting to see some better swings now this Darryl second time through Norris. the lineup. He had them pretty much on their heels the first time through, but this ball was squared up about as good as you can do it, and he was fortunate that it was hit right at someone. The catcher, Derek Norris, is in. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. 
Reds are down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Alfred Broussard comes Leading to the plate the as we get started here in the Frank bottom Taylor. of the fifth. Well, Alfred they still aren't even on the board Broussard. yet, so this leadoff guy needs to get on so they can manufacture a run. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And that's in there as well, 0-2 oh, now. That's a major league curveball there. Now, let's take a while to get used to, believe me. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. And you know what that is right there? That's life in the show, bud. Once teams around the league figure out the book on how to get you out, it can be a real tough adjustment to play at this level. Alcides Escobar is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at-bat. And that's in there for a strike. Chopped foul right at home plate. You know, looking back at Escobar's production in the 2015 ALCS, it's a pretty good reason he was named MVP of that series. He hit a blistering 478. That's called carrying Count the ball club. One and two. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Yeah, and then in game one of the World Series, he hit the inside the park home run off Matt Harvey, the first inside the park homer in the World Series since 1929. That was pretty cool. But all in all, Escobar finished the 2015 postseason with a 329 average, nine RBIs. He was definitely a huge factor in the Royals' run to the championship. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Make it seven in a row. My gracious, he is simply unhittable right now. Two away. That was quite a nice little battle as we check out the sequence of pitches here. It was a six-pitch at bat. And as you watch this, you'll see that he wasn't going to go down without a fight. He was able to keep the at-bat alive by fighting off a couple of tough two-strike pitches. But in the end, finally put away on that pitch right there, one and two. Stepping in now, Johnny Monell. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. And he falls behind 0 2. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's 1 and 2. And I think that might have been a little bit of a purpose pitch right there up in the zone. Now I think he's going to come back down with something to try to get that strikeout. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Cliff Pennington makes his way to the box to lead us off Leading in the sixth the inning. Absolutely Second nothing baseman. going on in this game Glenn so far, so we'll see Pennington. if the leadoff man can get something going. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. That yeah, misses wide. One ball and one strike. Smoked on the ground left side. 
And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Well, not a game to remember for either offense so far. Just the seventh hit combined between the two teams. Gene Segura is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And that's just not really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of beating out a hit. He's set. Here it comes. Fun attempt, but this one might have too much on it. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. Boy, here, he's not showing late and trying to beat one out. He's giving himself up to get that runner to second. I mean, you've got to be able to defend this better than they did. That's an out you have to count on getting. Mookie Betts will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Ligaris moving to his left. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good job there at second base of doing the math in his head and figuring out he can make it up to third. So that puts runners on the corners now with only one away. Stepping in, Charlie Blackman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Pitch out, nothing doing. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Swing and a miss for strike one. And here's where the Reds need that one key hit that's been avoiding them. Throw over to the bag and the runner back. Hit in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it, two gone. And a relay to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. In a game like this, you had to figure that a manufactured run was going to be how we finally opened our scoring. Good work there to drive him in. Edwin Encarnacion will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First offering on its way. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. Well, maybe you see a little cat and mouse game going between the pitcher and the runner right now. We'll see who wins this duel. Now a throw over to first, a dive, but he's back. Here it comes, 1-0. and oh. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. And on 2-0, and oh, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but I would maybe think about something else. Here's a look over to first. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. A runner on first with two away. And a slider that catches a lot of the plate that time, and it's sent out to deep left center field. And this one is gone! So a two-run home run for Edwin Encarnacion. And even 40 home runs on the year for him now as the Reds move out in front now, three to nothing. Oh, and his great year just keeps going on and on. Like you say, that's home run number 40 on the year now. He's definitely making a case to be in the running to take some hardware home at the end of the season. 
Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson. As he's swinging first pitch and sends a line drive out to left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And things are starting to change for the worse out there. Now now this is a guy who hadn't given up a run until better. earlier this inning. Albert and now all of a sudden, he's having a hard time getting anybody out. Looks to me like he's hit the wall out there. Albert Pujols will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Three runs already home here. Rips this one to first. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's now 3-0 Cincinnati. Jordan Pacheco will come in now to begin their half of the sixth. And it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think this is the inning that it needs to start happening. A good pitch there on 0 1 as this is hit fouled over to the right side. Strike two now. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Gray into his motion. Here's the one and two. Hit on the ground is short. Segura has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. And you just now get the sense that he's got it on cruise baseman. control out there now. Devin. Make it nine in a row he's set down. Devin Travis stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Checked his swing there and pops this one up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate. And that will be ruled a strike. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. And, Hit sharply on the ground. On to first, and there were two down. And I'll tell you what, a 3-0 lead with the way this guy's throwing must look like a 10-0 lead to these guys. I mean, they just haven't been able to solve him at all so far. Jackie Bradley Jr. will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Strike two on the curveball. 0-2. And this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. 
he's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Well, that's a smart miss there. They know he'll chase it down there. So even if it didn't get the job done, it's a great pitch on 0-2. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Yeah, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? And this misses, so that'll three fill two. the count at three and two. Another tough pitch and a tough call there. He couldn't get him to bite again, so he's worked it from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. This is turning into a great battle at the plate. Looking to avoid his first walk. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Still down 3-0. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Reds leading this one as we start the seventh. And before we commence, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Roberto Gallegos is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Roberto Gallegos. Nick Castellanos. We'll stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Yeah, good thing we don't get paid by the hour, man. This game has flown by. Steven Sung is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start Steven inning number seven. Sung. Drilled on the ground to short. Played on the backhand. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Number three, Derek Norris. Derek Norris stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. And now the Cubs' bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already. But he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. The wind up and the 0 1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Bradley on the run. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. How about this out of the bullpen? Three pitches, two outs. Can't do a whole lot better than that. Cliff Pennington. Steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up on the backhand. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Steven Sung is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Now playing third base, number 32, Steven Leading off the inning, Travis Shaw, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And so far Leading in this one, the they're Cubs. still getting shut out. First so this Bigfoot. lead off that bat Travis could be huge if he can just Shaw. get on base because they've been held in check all game. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Pennington is up with it. He's and out. a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. And this isn't always the way you want to play it here. I mean, it's late in the game. Your guys are losing. 
wouldn't be such a bad idea to take a pitch or two. Instead, he chases after the very first pitch, and it's an easy out. Hanley Ramirez, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And Ramirez can't get that one as he swings and misses for strike two. Yeah, a ground ball out to start the seventh. Now an 0-2 count. He's looking sharp as ever. Takes this the other way to right. Dickerson is there. Two down. When we get a look Center there at his pitches down. by inning. Wow. He's at 81 now after that last pitch, so he should be good for a little while longer. Juan Ligares will come in now with two away, and to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. Gray has his target. Here it is on 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They trail in this one, three nothing. Gene Segura comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Gene Segura. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. Hit hard to the right side. Oh, he does get to it to knock it down. Now batting. Center fielder. Mookie Betts will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Runners off for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And no throw as it turns out as he takes second with ease. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0-2. Ready with the 0-2. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. 3 nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning-by-inning inning recap through the first seven and change. Charlie Blackman will stand in here. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Into the seats, 0 and 1. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Up next for Cincinnati, first baseman. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch on its way. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one.
Oh, a little looper over short. That's going to be enough to do the job. It's in there for a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. And that may be the at-bat there that finally seals the deal here. That'll make it a four-run lead right now, and that will be awfully tough to overcome this late in the ballgame. Corey Dickerson steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And that's a nice job right there to drive in the run by the last guy, and it can definitely fire up a team when someone comes through big time with two outs. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Bradley is there. And that retires the side. It's a run on two hits here for Cincinnati. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth. Leading off the inning, Alfred Brassard. And they'll need him to get something going here. Gray gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Well, that man right there is into his eighth inning of work now. Any concerns going forward? Well, I think the only thing you have to worry about is that pitch count you see right there. Other than that, he's earned the right to stay out there. Usually the other team will tell you when you're starting to get tired. On it goes right through him into left field. The shortstop, number two. Yeah, and it's been a long time since they even had a base runner out there. You have to go all the way back to the third inning to find the last one, and they've been stopped dead in their tracks ever since. Here comes the first pitch. A little bouncer. Foul ball, however, strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. to the right side and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now yeah and about the only drawback you have to having so many strikeouts is that it really runs that pitch count up you can see on the graphic right here that that total's starting to get up there now so he may be getting just a little bit tired Johnny Monell will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning and on the mound he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ballgame. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. Got him as he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point, so his control has been really, really spot on so far. Into the box, Jordan Pacheco, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Swing and a little tapper. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Yeah, sort of a protective swing there as he got on top Second of this baseball, but the net Kevin. result is that at least he's able to move these other runners up 90 feet, albeit now with two outs. Devin Travis will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Runners at second and third with two gone.
A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Owen two count here's the pitch hit to third Sung scoops it up on to first and the Cubs squander what looked like a good opportunity as that ends the inning a golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught back with more Monday night baseball following this. Back here in Chicago with a great view of downtown as we're set here to start the ninth inning from Wrigley Field. Jeff Manship come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Albert Pujols stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Albert Pujols. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one. And that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at-bat. Swinging a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And Albert is 0 for 3 now as he's retired here for the first out. Well, that'll be a frustrating at bat for him. Now, he's got to be thinking he let one get away there because you know, that's a pitch he should have been able to handle. Into the box now, Stephen Sung gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Oh, and one here it comes. Drilled right back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one out single. The catcher, Derek Norris, will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Yeah, and the only silver lining to this offensively is that you get that guy up to second base and now he's in scoring position with two outs. But I would doubt seriously that that was his intention. Digging in, Cliff Pennington as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is where he's so comfortable hitting righties so far this year really well. Hitting over 300 on the year. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Back up the middle, and that'll get through. It's into center, a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Yeah. He hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Gene Segura standing in. As he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. On to first, and the Reds rally comes up short here as that ends the inning. Reds strand a couple. They lead it four to nothing. Jackie Bradley Jr. will be tasked now with leading things off in their half leading of the ninth because they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Gray's ready. Here it comes. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And Bradley oh, swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0 and 2. Boy, that changeups had him eaten out of his hand. Oh, and they've been falling all over themselves trying to get it. But you've just got to know that that's just like it is, but it isn't. Too high. One and two. 
And he should be okay to go the distance here. He's just now about to hit 100 pitches for the ball game. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Up next These the guys ground. continue to put up very Here's little resistance out there. He's Shredders. on his way towards a five-hit shutout. Travis Shaw will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Yeah, and you just can't worry about the score right here. You just got to be able to string together a couple of base runners and take it one pitch at a time, one runner at a time. A one count. Here's the pitch. Nope. One and one. If you're hitting left-handed, all you can really do is just kind of quit on that pitch and hope it doesn't find the outside corner. One out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it, even over 100 pitches. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Well, this has been a thoroughly dominating performance out there. It's kept these guys guessing all game long, and he's just one out away now from picking up a well-deserved complete game shutout. Hanley Ramirez will stand in now as their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. I know we have a tendency in the media to get hung up on pitch counts, but this is a legitimate workload he's sweated through so far. Yeah, anytime you get up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift, and he's fast approaching it here. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Ground ball left side backhanded and now a jump throw against his body and the throw will not be in time as I don't think he was going to get him anyway but a fine effort nonetheless. Juan Ligaris stands in was locked up on strike three in his last trip. Well, a rough day so far he's already got a hat trick so I think it would be nice just to see him put some wood on it. Two out with the man at first. Line softly out toward left center. Lays out and he makes a spectacular catch. What a way to end this one. And how about that for putting an exclamation point on a victory? Just a super play there to record the final out with some style. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Reds win this one 4 to nothing. Good night from Chicago. The final line score for our ballgame tonight for the Victoria.